Hello everyone. Welcome to the web series on complex concepts of chemistry, mechanism of organic reactions. I'm Kavita and I will be explaining you one of the complex as well as fundamental concept of organic chemistry, the mechanism of organic reactions. To begin with, we shall discuss a few organic reactions and talk about breaking of bonds and formation of bonds. So what is a chemical reaction in the first place? We all know that a chemical reaction may be defined as a pathway which the reactants follow to form products. Now what do you observe in the above reaction where methane combines with oxygen? We could see the breaking of bonds between carbon and hydrogen atoms in methane molecules and oxygen and oxygen bond in the oxygen molecules. Then what do you think should be the product? Think for a while. The products formed are carbon dioxide and water. Now we could see very clearly that in this reaction bonds are broken that is carbon and hydrogen bonds in methane and oxygen and oxygen bonds in oxygen molecules and new bonds are formed between carbon and oxygen in carbon dioxide molecules and oxygen and hydrogen in water molecules. These are our products. A chemical reaction always involves breaking of specific bonds and formation of specific bonds. Hence, to understand the mechanism of a reaction, it is very important to understand what specific bonds are broken and what specific bonds are formed. Now let us take a simple addition reaction. In this reaction, the double bond between carbon 1 and carbon 2 of ethene or ethylene breaks to form a new single bond in ethane. Also, we see bond breaking between hydrogen and chlorine atom of hydrochloric acid. In the product, we see this hydrogen atom forming a new bond with carbon 1 of ethane and chlorine atom forming a new single bond with carbon 2. Thus, a new product ethyl chloride or chloroethane is formed. Let us also see the following addition reactions. Observe the basic pattern of addition reactions. The carbon-carbon pi bonds are broken and new single bonds are formed. Now see this. We are familiar with this reaction since our elementary school. Yes, you guessed it right. It is the reaction between vinegar, that is acetic acid, and baking soda, that is sodium bicarbonate. Chalk out which specific bonds are broken and which specific bonds are formed in this reaction. With this, I conclude today's talk. See you all in the next lecture where we will discuss more on bond breaking and bond formation in various kinds of reactions. Until then, bye-bye.